Hello, this is Rachel Karch from the CERT Division with your SEI Cyber Minute. We've been seeing more and more news stories about distributed denial of service attacks, or DDoS attacks. Recent attacks have become larger and more disruptive, not only impacting the direct target of the attack, but also impacting people who are deprived of services and resources, like social networks and online coffee ordering, as a result of the attack. If you have a network or a website, there are several steps you can take to defend yourself. First, make your architecture more resilient. Eliminate single points of failure and bottlenecks, and plan for logical and geographical dispersion of your assets. It's harder for them to take you down if they have to hit multiple sites to do it. Second, become familiar with the capabilities of network hardware like firewalls and load balancers, which can provide built-in protections against some of the more well-known DDoS attacks like SIN floods. Make sure the equipment you purchase has those protection features, and make sure you know how to enable them properly. Third, if it's affordable, consider scaling up your bandwidth. I know it can be hard to swallow the idea of paying for bandwidth you're not always using, but good network engineering practices dictate installing more capacity than you currently need to allow not only for traffic surges, but for outages and growth as well. And finally, consider outsourcing. There are a number of network and hosting providers that offer large-scale DDoS protection services, and it just may be easier and more effective for you to purchase this service from someone else rather than trying to build your own. Thanks for watching this SEI Cyber Minute. For more information, please see my recent blog post on our website or send me an email at info at sei.cmu.edu.